In this section, the fun begins. We are going to create our first ASP.NET Core MVC application in Windows and Linux. We will see how to create our first project. If you are familiar with the previous versions of .NET Core, then you will see that the project.json has been replaced by csproj files. We will see how the command line works, both in Windows and Linux. We are going to create a project from the command line and we'll see how it can be used not only to create a project, but to do many other things, including running a web server. But now, we will run our Hello World application. There is a lot to talk about, so let's get started. In this demo, we are going to create a .NET Core web application project to give you a bit of taste of SP.NET Core MVC web application. I am obliged to show you a Hello World application and Microsoft has done its bit to make it easy for us so let's jump right in. Once Visual Studio gets up and running, we'll create a new project for our application. Now go to File, New, Project. This will bring up the project dialog box. Now make sure that on the Visual Studio node, .NET Core is selected, and then select SP.NET Core Web Application, call it Hello World, and click OK. We're now presented with multiple choices. There is Empty Template, Web API, Web Application, Web Application Model View Controller, Angular, React.js, React.js, and Redux. We're going to select the empty application because it is great for showing off the functionalities that work together in SP.NET Core MVC. The web application is a full-fledged application with models, views, and controllers with a demo website working off the box. The web application is a great place to learn more about the MVC core and how all the other pieces fit together. The web API template will be looked at in the second part of this course. But for our purpose, we will choose the empty template. We will create everything from scratch. Click OK. Now close this file. One of the things about SP.NET Core application is that as soon as you create the application, it starts restoring some files needed in the Solution Explorer. Under dependencies, if you expand it, you can see that you have got NuGet packages and uh, some packages have already been installed behind the scene. Again, we will look at them in details in a later module. For now, we just want to run this as it is off the shelf. So click debug or press F5. I'm going to click debug here. It will open your default browser. In my case, it is Chrome and voila, you have your Hello World application. Congratulations for creating your first ASP.NET Core MVC application. It doesn't really do much though at this moment. In the later module, we will see how to change this and make it do other things. 